as it's gonna get. Let's move. Yeah, sort of noticed that. There's more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. From up here, you can see the entire park. Now watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this.
Hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, let's go this way. After you. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this.
Corporal Deacon St. John. Eh, hey, what can I do you for? Now that's some hardware, huh? Just saying. Oh yeah, upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Oh, big spender. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Corporal St. John, kids. I'll I see you around, home. yeah? Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah. of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and no, Corporal no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. My brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Captain Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive yeah, war. Right. Yeah. Yeah. As we take yeah. the fight to the freaks, as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all evil, 
and throw them into the furnace of yeah. fire. In that place, there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels, and we are coming. Company dismissed. Burning all this crap. <sighs> well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <sighs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Overdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you gonna take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my God, if you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step out of the sky. that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms it just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you were in the army once you should know that was different how oh there were more people in the world i don't know i mean having a military made more sense i think it makes more sense now why it's utter fucking chaos out here we need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks sitting pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and tats like uniforms. And when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and rights. Now that you mention it, I can see your point. 
You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniform. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? To Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. But the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious! What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spend all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. out of the way. My god, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. 
You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God! What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on.
They're infected. It's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dean, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Open fire! Come on. Get down. Mm. 
mother fuck you were saying. Yeah. This world is top of anything. Trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Alert. Security Alert. has been this breached. The Cloverdale Alert. facility is Multiple in lockdown. Repeat. Security Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out under security. You ready? Yeah, this time? Let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Where'd you come from? At last. Shit. Snipers up there. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. What do you say now, huh? Their way. Stand down, and you will not be harmed. D2007659, security override and disable the Alert. fucking voice response. Alert. 911 has been called. <laughs> well, Police are ready? on their way. Stand down. Yeah. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Yeah, Security personnel to the maintenance building. <sighs> Nothing here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Same here. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Alert. 
Alert. Alert. This Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene shots Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator Warning. for assistance. Deadly force is authorized for use fucking against bitch. all trespassers. Warning. Hey, hey, Deadly going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, Alert. is there a way to that rooftop from here? Has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, Alert. I don't want you to Alert. go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep Alert. their attention. When Multiple they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from Security here and I'm take it by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? <laughs> Shit. Warning. Come on, Deadly come on, I have an idea. Is authorized for use what? All trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Put your hand Police on that are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access Alert. code. All right, Alert. here's your ID code. Ready? This is a level four uh, yeah. Multiple shots your full name and ID 5429009. Got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold Alert. on. Alert! Alert! 911 <laughs> has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be Ready? Armed. Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah! Wait until I get their attention, then you go Alert! In. Alert! Hey, this don't take any chances. Four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Okay, go. Going. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. I know you're in there! Answer me, God Deacon Lee St. John. ID 5429009. Good morning. Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale. This is your first login. Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Said hands. All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. 
All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <sighs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. should have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together in myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, 
The power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay. Um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to be right there. Okay. Burn you little bastard. <laughs> I just gotta jimmy that door. No time, no time. Not so hard. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle? I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. 
fabric. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. <laughs> 